Steam Drunk! You can't get much better than a free game, so I thought I'd do a quick video on what might be the most popular free game on Steam, titled You Have to Win the Game, and yes, it's zero dollars and zero cents right now. As you can see right away from the footage, this game looks awfully familiar. It looks, sounds, and plays very similar to VVVVVV, or is that VVVV? And yeah, you progress through a huge map one screen at a time. There's also save states, quick respawning, and a lot of dying. So the two are laid out similarly, but the gravity component isn't in You Have to Win the Game. It's strictly a platformer that hinges on exploration. This game also might look familiar because of its visual presentation, and yes, You Have to Win the Game very deliberately tries to recapture the feel of a 1980s PC game with the four-color CGA graphics graphics, the sound effects in mono, the lack of music. It even tries to replicate the look of a CRT monitor complete with a border. You can turn that off though if you'd like, and you can even turn the colors off too. Anyway, you get the idea. This is a game that has no big ambitions and is perfectly fine being what it is, which is an exploration-based platformer where you find items to unlock new parts of the map, backtrack and use your newfound upgrade, dodge enemies, and did I mention dying because you'll be doing a lot of that. You have to win the game is very accessible and the controls are obvious, although it should be noted that you don't really have any way to attack, but you do learn the ability to double jump and wall jump, for example. But yeah, everything kills you. I refer to games like this as pick up and die games as opposed to pick up and play games because this game is easy easy to pick up, but it's not as easy to possess the patience to get past some of these puzzles. Like I said earlier, there's save states all over the place, some in handy places and some in not so handy places, and you have unlimited lives. So yeah, the gameplay components in VVVVVV, but this game isn't as torturous as that, it's a little simpler. Bear in mind though, there's no actual map here, so while it may not be that hard or that long of a game, it still presents a challenge in its own way. And if you don't think it's hard enough, there's a mode called Extra Spicy you can play, and yeah, it is in fact very spicy. So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video on a game that I like to play when I'm feeling kind of bored and when I'm sick of everything else. You have to win the game is simple, straightforward, and hard as balls. But I rarely feel like dying isn't my fault, if that makes any sense, and I always want to keep playing if only to keep that progress percentage going up even just 1% more. And hey, if nothing else, this game is free, and it's on Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's worth a playthrough.